Hey fam, Chi Chi here. Welcome back. I am finally getting around to my review of the brand new Kaoli Eden Sparkling Lychee Perfume. I know it's been a while, I've been a little backed up, but you know, I'm gonna tell you how I actually feel about it in some layering combinations that I think you could, you know, take a little look at. But if you're new here, hey, I'm Chi Chi and I talk about all things lavish, but logical. So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead, subscribe, make some friends in the comment section and follow me on Instagram and TikTok. So Mona decided to close out 2023 with yet another fragrance. And I was like, girl, you you really did a lot this year. So, well, last year. But I was just like, okay, what, what are the teaser trailers giving us? And I immediately said it's going to be either lychee or like some sort of peach. And then she dropped it. I was like, oh. It's lychee. Now, I know there has been a huge debate on whether it's called lychee or lychee. When it's spelled like this, I say lychee. But when it's like this, I say lychee. So whenever I see that double E, it's lychee in my opinion. So it's lychee. And that's how I'll be referring to it for the remainder of this video. So I got really excited. I'm like, oh, sparkling lychee. It's going to be very like bubbly and things like that. I got really excited. But then I saw Eden and I was like, ooh. If you know anything about Kaoli, Eden Juicy Apple came off very, very juvenile. So I was like, am I actually gonna like this? I do have a travel size of Eden Juicy Apple. We're also gonna talk about her a little bit. But I was like, uh, I really don't love Eden Juicy Apple only because it did give very much so like a juvenile vibe and I am a whole lot of women. So I was like, that one I kind of like was pausing about. So I decided to order a sample of it and see how I like the full bottle. So I got this, I sprayed it on and I was just like, yep, this is a, this is a little bit uh, juvenile for me. <laughs> so it opens up and it's like, yeah, I get a fizzy champagne vibe. Then I get that sweet lychee ball mixed with black currant. And then I get Kool-Aid. And I was just like, oh, it's, it's a Kool-Aid vibe kind of. So I was like, hmm, I don't know. Like I felt like eating juicy apple this was for the girls that were 18 to 21. When this one is more of 21 to 25. Like she's got a little something extra to it, but it's nothing like I'm here. Like I've learned some life lessons. I got a little grit under my fingers. So I was just like, I don't know about this one. So. Is it juicy? Yeah. I'm like, okay. I immediately put it in my mind that this would be a good topper fragrance. And that's how I think of Eden Juicy Apple. If you want to add that little extra sweetness to a fragrance, that's when these two fragrances really just go hand in hand. Especially with Kaoli really encouraging layering. That's where I feel like these two actually shine. So at the top, see, Fra Fragrantica lists that lychee, but lychee, we gonna say lychee. We have lychee, black currant, Italian lemon, and red apple at the top with mid notes of violet, rose, and jasmine sandback, and then base notes of sugar, vanilla absolute, musk, amber, sandalwood, and cedar. Just got a little base, a little depth to it at the at the bottom, but the longevity of this fragrance is just non-existent. And it's just like, okay, like I want you to last for a little bit longer. And that's why people make that, that body splash comparison because it's not lasting the way a perfume would. So that was the biggest disappointment, hence why it's still in the box. Also, I just realized that I I'm past the 30 day mark. So I have to either sell this or rip off the plastic. So I'm still trying to figure out whether I even 
love it enough to add it. Well, it's already added to my collection, but to keep it. It's a fragrance that I wouldn't mind a travel size version of. I wish I would have gotten the travel size and it would have been sitting right alongside Miss Eden Juicy Apple and we would have been fine. Like I can see VO5 having one of these scents and it smells like I would love it in my hair, you know? And that's why I, I'm like, oh, it's great for topping things off because it is very likable. Don't get me wrong. It is a likable scent, but it's just not the vibe that I'm going for. But I see how, uh, how people can really enjoy the fragrance. So let's talk about layering. The first thing I immediately thought of with body care was this dry body oil. This is from CC's Closet NYC, and this is their Coconut Moringa. It's juicy, it's youthful. So it really just had a nice little base to hold on to. Like it really brought out the longevity of that fragrance. Once I put this oil on, that's when I tipped over past that four hour mark where everybody was dying down. So this really, really helped extend the longevity of that fragrance. And they kind of just, they fit well together. So I was, Happy that I actually had this because it really did help. Now, of course, I couldn't do as many layering combinations as I would have if I had opened up the bottle. But immediately, when you think of lychee, the most popular lychee perfume in the world is Delina. Whichever Delina that you chose. I chose the regular one only because I wanted to mask that sharp rhubarb note that I don't particularly love. And as far as it, like masking it, it worked perfectly. The, the rhubarb kind of just settled down just enough for me to get to that mid where it's like, okay, this is the pretty girl scent. You know, so I really did like it with Delina. I wasn't able to try it with the other two because I really wanted to try as many as I possibly could. So Parfums de Marley, I found quite a few matches and a surprising match at that. I layered it with Oriana. Don't ask me why I tried this one, but I wanted to play on that like sweetness, but not make it sugary sweet. And that's where Oriana really does shine because it's not like a, like juicy, juicy sweet, like sugary candy. It's like, hmm, this one's playful, it's fun. So me adding sparkling lychee, it, it did a really quick like, you know? So I, I really enjoyed it. If you do have Killian Love Don't Be Shy, try that combination out too. You know, let me know in the comments, call me back girl. But. The Parfums de Marley combination that I just was like, oh, this is going to hit. Meliora. I love Meliora because it's these juicy red berries plus black currant. And then you're left with this really, really like oh, delicious musk. This is the first one I, re I reached for. Not Delina, not any, this one. And I gotta say, it was a juicy, like just, oh, like take a bite out of crime. And this is what I mean. Meliora has that juiciness that the um, sparkling lychee has, but it doesn't come off juvenile at all. And this is what I wanted. Like not necessarily the, you know, the actual scent, but still having that juiciness, but the longevity and it's still being like that perfume. I wanted Meliora, like a Meliora vibe, but just, yeah, it didn't work. But the two together, I was really, really enjoying that. I'm um, going really quickly back to uh, Delina. Again, I told you Delina has a really sharp rhubarb note. So again, to extend, the lychee Delina body cream. It doesn't have that really, really sharp rhubarb note. And you still get a little bit, You not a little bit, you still get that rose. So 
to add that lychee and really like kick it up. Try the Delina body cream under it and that actually worked really well. I was gonna do Baccarat Rouge, but Baccarat Rouge goes with everything, so I decided to try Gentle Fluid the Gold. This was super girly. I always said Gentle Fluid the Gold is a sparkling vanilla, and this went perfectly with it. It just gave it, again, that, that flirty girl essence, but of course, the vanilla in here is just top tier. So I really, really enjoyed that combination. It was probably one of my favorite combinations, if we're going to be honest. And then I, I tried to grow it up. I tried to sex it up. <laughs> so I did try it with Prada Paradox. Prada Paradox is like a classy girl. Very, very classy. But if you just wanted to add a little extra, like, a little seasoning to it, I liked this one i would imagine that since people like to compare prada paradox to valentino i also feel like this might have been a, a really good one i need to get more of this i need to get the travel size or just bust this wide open but i imagine this one would be ultra sexy it's not my favorite i'm a prada paradox kind of girl but if you do have valentino sprinkle will a little sparkling light she on there just to like extra feminine you know so i think those two worked out really well and then from the kaoli line my top choice was gonna be <laughs> yum pistachio yeah yum pistachio i didn't try everything i didn't i didn't want to do like the vanillas and all that stuff but i figured this one because it has that fresh like zest right in the opening it kind of will play with the marshmallows and the the cotton candy of it all and then i'm also getting that sweet rum this one was a good combination for it out of the ones that i did see that was the one i was going to really lean into so uh yeah overall y'all need to help me decide what should i do should i just rip off the plastic with this one or find a brand new home for it let me know in the comment section and some layering combinations just to entice me a little bit further check out some of my other reviews and i'll catch you in the next one bye guys